Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host. I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Jonas, I'm the man on us. Mm -hmm. We're playing some of that Assassin's Creed. Put some medicine in your gullet because it's really good. <laughs> Just practicing stealth kills. Uh, you know, getting a feel for the sticks here. We gotta, we gotta talk to Secret. Let them know that we've seen Cavortian soldiers on the horizon. Mm. Yo, what up? They're in cahoots. They're in the camp. Ripped her back. We do not have the men to storm Kyotre's fortress. The losses would ruin us. The losses have ruined us, father. Until we cut off this serpent's head, it will poison us day by day, drop by drop. The poison has mm. already polluted our waters. God save all. What happened? Spies in our camp. Three men sent by Chotve to kill us as we slept. I returned the favor. There, you see? This is what waiting brings. Yes. Yeah, we must answer this insult. Yeah, we they can't wait. They came from Notfall, that wailing village under Chotve's control. We hid him there. Dang. Burn it down before Kyrthel learns his spies are dead. He may have sent more. I can search the village while you round up the crew. No need. I will send Hytham to search the area. You can rely on him while we are away. No. We? Do you mean to join us? Hytham? I have mm. not been bred for Valhalla like you. That guy's going to be a traitor, of course. My first battle. <laughs> I do not like this, but I will not stop you. <laughs> All right, some king. Uh, yeah, we gotta take action, man. If they're attacking us, you gotta do what you gotta no, do. No, dude, you just sit back and let all your men die. Not lead my son to the same storm that follows you. Yeah, so yeah, we gotta we gotta go handle business. Where do we kill people at? Do we kill people? We kill people over here with the brother, right? In the streets. Oh, we get in the boat. Let's go. I'm ready. Yeah, take command of this B. You're a commander. All right. Triple A title. Just want to let you know that right now. All right, take command again. Actually, that. All right. Through the waves. I don't know where these men came from, but they're here now. All no, right. you had your men before, dude. No here are your men, boys. Yeah, but they just, like, appeared in the boat. Like, Flag where did those sail. 16 Cat guys man. come from? Warriors. Their mother's vagina. No, Jonas. <laughs> you know what? Why ask? <laughs> I mean... Oh, my God. Afraid I would not return in time to see Kurtwes and... Afraid... I would not see him bleed out like a stuck yeah, pig we're, we're, we're in a drift of We're going to see that. Snow. But here I am, home in time to join those I have missed, those Aww. I love, in this glorious fight. Today we seize Nochtfall from Kurtwe. Tonight his heart will pulse with worry. Tomorrow it will burst from fear. Who will beseech the gods You see the smoke aid? right here? Is that smoke? Be deaf to his cries. Mm. And soon... I think that I think that's very light cirrus cloud cover. No, right here. That's smoke. What's over here? I'll go over and kill everybody. Don't think I won't. You are very <laughs> much a murderer. It is. It's like a bonfire of some sort. I don't know if there's any guys there though. Look at that. I love how the ship keeps moving. And soon the Raven Clan will feast on his dead. <laughs> we'll kill them all. This, you know, this is what ride or die is, Jones. They're like, hey, the these dudes are disrespecting us. Are you gonna jump in the ship and let and roll out? And you're like, yeah, let's go. Yeah. So I did that once in my life. Did I even did that last episode? Where what? Where I was talking about ride or die. Oh, uh, yes. We've only done one other episode. <clears throat> all right. So yeah, like. I remember there was this guy I met, and he was like, yeah, man, these guys are causing problems. And they, like, started, like, grabbing weapons and stuff. Like these dudes that you were hanging yeah, with? Yeah, dude. What'd they get, like a chain or, like, a gat or, like, what? Like, one of them had, like, a, like, literally had, like, a, a ball and chain mace. 
<laughs> I showed know. up like it's 1427 it was, in this beat, dude. It was some mall ninja-ish, dude. And, and I know it was because it was my ball and mace, actually. My was, I knew he had one because I'm the one that brought it to the party. <laughs> and he was just like, hey, we, we got to go handle these guys. And I was like, I, I don't even know these guys. I barely know you. Uh -huh. But I definitely went and got in the car. And like while I was in the car, one of them was like, yo, I just want to thank you for showing up, man. That was really cool. I'll never forget that. And I was like, oh, something real is about to happen. Like, I've actually made a commitment here. <laughs> it's like when Clojo gets into the car in Bronx Tale. And like, they're going to go throw Molotov cocktails at the rival gang. And he's like, yo, let me out. Because like, he realized he was about to make a life-changing decision. Right? I don't, I've never seen that movie. And I don't know what you're talking about necessarily. But yes, that was exactly what happened to me. You're I like mean, on your way. You're like, just let me out here. We're like, we're on the corner of 84 and 20. Yeah. And you're like, that's fine, dude. I'll walk. Yeah, I was just like, no, let's roll. And then we went, and then nothing really popped off, and I was just like, whoo. And I was like, yo, but I was there, though. <laughs> yeah, like, when I was uh, younger, there was, the closest I ever got to getting into an altercation, there was, like, there was like this uh, girl that I uh, dated for a little bit, mm -hmm. and uh, she was, she was I, like, I was only maybe, like, 17. She was, like, maybe, like, 15 or 16. Like, we were, like, so she was, like, high school girl drama type of stuff. And uh, there was like a guy that she used to used to date high school boyfriend date or whatever. Yeah. And he in like they used to hang out the library up by her place, you know, because you're teenagers. What else do you do? And he used to like mess with her, like probably just pick on her, like girls do, to, like boys do to girls when you're teenagers. And like she wanted me to come up there and do something about it, you know what I mean? Because I was her boyfriend or whatever. And well, no, so like, so I like, I was only like 17 or 18 years. I was like 18, I guess, because I, ha I was like, I think I was out of high school. I think I had finished high school, and she was still like a junior, or a senior. So I don't remember exactly. But so like, mm -hmm. I remember calling up one of my friends. And I'm like, hey, dude, I'm going to. I'm like, and I called, and he wasn't there. I remember his sister, and I'm like, tell him I'm going to the library, and he like knew what that meant, dude. <laughs> And like I drove, I drove out there. I knew. I took his hand off. I drove out there, and we got there. And like as I came in, my buddy rolled up in his car, and he was like rolling like four deep. He showed up four deep for me. Like Yo. I didn't even. I just called and told. I told his sister to tell him I'm going to the library. He Yo. showed up four deep within like thirty minutes. Yo, that's and then me and nice. the kid like were standing there, and they were like, like "You guys should walk down the street to the field down there and fight, dude, because you can't fight the library. They're gonna call the cops." And like so, like me and this like kid that I don't even know, like started walking down towards this field. And then he uh, he like looked at me. And he's like, "Dude, I don't really want to fight." And I was like, "Yeah, dude, I don't really want to fight either." And so he's like, <laughs> "We just uh, walked back." <laughs> I was like, "I was like, yeah, this is dumb, isn't it?" And he's like, "Yeah, it's pretty stupid." And he was like, <laughs> and then we walked back, and we were just like, "Yeah, dude, we ain't gonna fight." And we left, <laughs> and it was you great. Didn't even fight. No, dude, we, I was like, I wasn't even mad. I was like, oh, he's picking on you at the library? Grow a set, dude. He ain't like he's like rubbing oh. your, trying to grab your parts, dude. He's just like you being a dude. You didn't F dude me A, dude? No, nah, dude, I wasn't. Uh, no, it's cool. I wasn't about to F anybody's A back then, dude. I just kind of expected you to F and A, dude. Dude, I, I don't know. like, I don't, I'm not a fighter, dude. I don't like I don't like hurting people. Uh, I don't either, but I'd, I'd be remiss if I hadn't said that I haven't before. Yeah. Like, like I've definitely I've definitely punched somebody with the intent on them not like surviving. <laughs> I wouldn't say not to. Oh my freaking Jesus, man! What happened to the fire? Dude, there was this fire everywhere, and then I died. That sucks, man. <laughs> Oh, how much of that I'm gonna have to do over? All right, let's 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 see, let's see where it's saved. That sucks. Yeah, dude, that was the closest I ever got to be in a fight. That was the closest you've ever gotten to being in a fight. Yeah, wow. one time me and Chach, when we were kids, pushed each other back and forth until our parents yelled out the window. I don't remember what we were gonna we were mad about. We were mad about something. <laughs> Because I've known Chach since <laughs> literally, no, you, like since we were like basically born. Fuck you, it, it was it was one. Of, you're dropping f bombs. <laughs> f you, dude. No, and uh, and like I remember, like our parents uh, yelling out the window, "Boys, boys!" <laughs> We're like, "What? Stop that! And come inside and get some sloppy joes." Sloppy? <laughs> was it really sloppy? Joes, I don't know. Dude? Probably. Oh dude. my god! If that was like, we used from... to hang out all the time. So our parents would hang out, and watch football, or hang out like like. 
his parents, my parents, and another friend of the, another friend of the family's parents would all hang out together, and they would like watch football or play cards and drink or whatever. And then me and Tom, uh, Chach, and uh, like the other family had girls. We would just hang out and do whatever. We would just play games, like screw around. And uh, so I don't remember exactly the. <clears throat> there was one time though. It was actually. Me and Chach were in his neighborhood because my parents were hanging out at his parents' house. And I remember like being at like one of his like one of the kids in his neighborhood's house. And like we were there and all of a sudden we heard thunder. And like and we were like, oh dude, it's gonna rain. We should get on our bikes and ride back to your house. Hell yeah, dude, get so we started riding buckies. and we literally heard the rain behind us like coming. And like Within probably five seconds of us getting into the garage, it just downpoured. So we were literally like outrunning the rain. It's kind of fun. <laughs> just like running, running in the rain. Yeah, we were like, oh my god, we're gonna get wet, dude. And then we got in the garage and it was like rain. And we're like, we almost got yeah. wet, dude. I remember I lived in an apartment and I remember uh, me and my friend were like, hey, dude, you wanna like run in the rain with your shoes off? And it was like a torrential downpour and we just like. Took our shoes off and ran in the rain. Oh, that's pretty awesome. And we like ran around the entire apartment complex. It took like a good like four minutes, and we just that was, soaked. Yeah, and and like looking back on it, it's like, what are you just looking to cause an infection? Like, what, right, what, right. what the hell were you thinking yeah. at ten years or at eleven years old? One of the f like I look back and one of the coolest things I ever did as a kid. Well, yeah, I don't know if it was cool, but it was it was a fun experience. There, over by Chacha's house, there was like a little, like, there was some, there was like a little crick and like some stuff. Like, you could like walk through this trail and there was some water and like whatever. And I remember me and him and another kid that we knew, we went, it was like winter time. Yeah. And it was like, and it was cold enough that there was like a layer of ice on all the water in the creek. But it wasn't like super, like, it wasn't super formed. So we went on this like mini adventure of like walking on this ice no, and, that and some no, I mean, safe. no, dude, this ice is you're talking it's like a foot deep. No, you're not, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But we were like walking on it and it would like and it would crack and we'd have to like get off to the side and we get back on it and like this went on for a, a very long time, you know, going through this whole trail and like it was just a lot of fun and I distinctly remember the kid we were with, like we were walking and, and like one of us stepped and broke through the through the through the ice a little bit. And like it kind of separated a big chunk, like probably three, four foot wide. And he was like, I'm gonna jump it, dude. I'm gonna jump from this this side of the ice to the other side of the ice. And we were like, why don't you just walk around, dude? You're just gonna get wet. You're gonna fall in the water. And wet. I remember you just wanna get he, wet, dude. He, he took like four steps back and he started singing Onyx, Back the Fuck Up, that song. Yo, they you see you no, told me I could sing. No, it. it's B A C A D U F. You pee. It's one word. Back the fuck up is one word. And and he was like, <laughs> yeah, and uh, and he was like, b word the up, b word the up. Everybody, everybody, b word. And he ran and like he jumped and like he hit it and he like slid and he looked all cool and he was like, got it, dudes or whatever. And we were like, wow, bro, got you're got super it, cool. We were like 13, you know. We thought we were bad A's, dude, dude. We were like, we got this, bro. <laughs> We're running ish out there, dude. Yeah, Ain't nobody told us what to do. We didn't tell our do. parents we were in the creek when it was frozen, dude. What? We're up in the creek. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude, that's you're not. You don't even know about that creek. Kid life. stuff, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was gonna like for sure fall. Into no, the dude. Water. He actually did good. He actually did. Yeah, dude. It no, was Superman nice. does good. And there was this one part, dude, do where well. like there was like a tunnel. That like there was like a road passed over it, and there was a tunnel underneath the road, yeah. and there was water, and we're like, can we walk through the tunnel? It's only maybe maybe like twenty five foot long. It's very short compared, you know, just this length of a road. And we're so like I remember us taking rocks and throwing them in there to see if they broke the ice or if they bounced, and they all bounced off the ice and didn't break. So we walked through and it didn't collapse on us. We were happy, dude. <laughs> 
<laughs> you survived. Yeah, dude. It felt like a real, like, Arctic adventure for a 13-year-old boy. I love that kind of stuff, too, honestly. It's, like, it's something that you can't get into as, like, an adult. But right. Like, yeah. You see, like, two like two 40-year-old dudes walking through a frozen creek. Like, dude, let's get it, bro. <laughs> we just fall through and probably, like, yeah, break something. Right. Yeah, because we probably all weighed, like, 150 pounds at the most back then. You know right. what I mean? Like, we weren't going to break no ice. I wonder if Chachi even remembers that. Probably not. Uh, he probably does, dude. I, I remember, like, stuff like that that happens. If somebody brings it up, I definitely remember it. Yeah, I should ask him about that sometime if he like, remembers that. Like, one, uh, like, a really early memory of, like, just doing stupid, dumb kid stuff. I remember when I was really young. This is probably, like, eight or nine, most likely. Maybe even younger than that. I remember taking springs out of a, a bed mattress that somebody had put in the dumpster. Uh-huh. And I remember putting them, like, attaching them to my feet. Oh. <laughs> and, like, yeah. swearing that those, I was getting extra air, Oh, dude. yeah, because I was those like, old springs, those used to be big, giant springs in a bed. Yeah, All right, dude. look, don't say used to be like that. You make it sound like it was a long time ago. Well, now they use individual coils. Okay, listen. They've done that for, like, two decades. Don't shame my... <laughs> Who's shaming you? Non-coil... I don't know what else I can do here, by the way. You have to um, access that point. No, I can't. There's nothing. Oh, I have to burn the... Oh, that's what it... You know what? I'm an idiot, dude. It keeps telling me to equip the torch. Yeah, yeah. And I'm just... I've just been... Okay, I just set myself on fire again. You're good. All right. Just roll in the snow, bro. All right. So, <laughs> I know, right? Also, there used to be like a little gully down by my house I grew up by. And one time me... I think I was with Chach. We went down into the gully. We used to always go down the gully and screw around because it was just fun to like hang out. What is a gully? It's like a it's like a mini golf. And what is that? That doesn't tell me. Anything. Like a golf, like an erosion of natural proportions from <laughs> rock formation. An erosion of natural proportions. <laughs> Like a, a indented part of the earth that you can climb down into that creates, there's like water and like trees and stuff, dude. Okay. I, I'll, so I'll, I'll I went down it. there and we found a broken TV with like the screen <laughs> busted out, dude. And we pulled that Sounds B up right. out the gully. And I saw this piece that was attached to like this rubber thing. And I was like, oh, dude, I can pull that off because I thought it was plastic. It was glass. It sliced my middle finger open. Oh, dude, I was that's like, dirty, too, dude. You probably I was have like, freaking herpes now. 10? And I remember mm. walk, my, like, the older neighbor girl was right by her house. She lived right by the gully at the end of the road. She was like, what are you guys doing? And I was like, I have a problem. And, like, I remember holding my hands, like, if you're like, go ahead. Mm. You reap a bloody harvest. I do want to hear the rest of that. Who though. are you, Gester? Name yourself. I know his face. He met with your father not long ago. I did, indeed. I am Guthor, uncle to King Harold of the North. Oh, that's I the panty smeller, dude. Yeah, it there is. is need. This is not King Harold's land. Why does he send warriors so far south? You may ask him yourself, my lord. He has a very triangular you, beard. The you other are Sigurd of the Raven Clan. <laughs> is that right? Son of the wise King Stebjorn. I am. Yes, Fabio. And you are standing on his land, King Harold. Land we have reclaimed with blood and steel. That I see, and I honor it. For I have not come to war against you, but for you, at the request of your father. The canny wolf. Was this the plan he spoke of? I offer my support. With my warriors, your Raven Clan can take Kirtway's fortress and settle this rivalry for good. This is good news, Eivor. The wandering king will tip our fortunes. We have a common cause. We don't need your men. Wow, what's oh, wow. in it for you? What's in it for you? Yeah. Why that's risk a good your question. men to help us, King? Have you a stake in this fight? This war between Ketway's clan and your own has long simmered on my southern border. I wish to see it put to rest. There would be no peace while Ketway lives. But there is much agreement between your father and me. This blood feud runs deep, King Harold. We welcome your help, but I must lead the charge. I see. Is this a question of honor? It is. Many winters ago, Chatve broke an oath to our fathers. He betrayed a friendly peace and slaughtered many. I understand. Sigurd Jarl will lead the assault against Kurtve and his clan. Give him full command of my ships and my warriors. 
When your victory is in hand, Sigurd, find me at Alrekstadir, and we will celebrate together. Our men will gather at Flor, near the mouth of the fjord northeast of here. Will you join us? Hold a moment. You captain our longship, Eivor. Meet us there, and we will claim Kurtvis' head for the gods. Brother, I have waited too many years for this day. When Kjodve stands before us, give me the final blow. You will have it, Eivor. You deserve it. Oh, we're actually gonna kill him. Aww. And then it's gonna start a steamroll of crap. Who are we Eivor? killing? Give us a hand. The dude that Otto killed our generous with his dad. troops. Oh, I got you. From the very, very beginning. I right, right. I cannot fathom his game. He's either a young fool or deceptively wise. Whatever his reason, I have a good feeling this war is near its end. Aw, nice lady. Can you imagine having to clean up all those dead bodies? Yeah, that would suck, dude. Yeah, nah, 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 Bring, out nah, <laughs> Bring out your dead! Bring out your dead! Anyway, so, so I so she's my... holding her hands out. And she no, I I hold my hands. You hand. You so hand. I cut my middle finger on the inside of my middle finger from like from like third digit to tip, dude, and like and it game. was it dude it was bleeding, and I remember I cut my hands together like you know like if you're like trying to drink out of like a faucet you know what I mean you kind of cup your hands to like drink yeah. yeah 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 and I remember it filling my hands up with blood like. <laughs> It was bleeding yeah. so bad. Now, how old were you at the time? Because that's going to give me, like, a volume. I mean, but I had small yeah. hands. I was, okay. like, 10. Okay, so... Yeah, but still a good amount of, that's of blood a lot for of, a child. Uh, uh, proportionately, if I saw my hands, whether I'm 10 years old or whether I'm 30... It, right. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, and she was like, here, come to my house. Holy this this, this girl right. was probably... She was probably 14, 15. I was, like, 10. Yeah. She was, like, that. She was like a little older than me. Took me into her house. I remember walking towards her house. My hands had filled up with blood, and I was like letting it drop into her gravel driveway because I had because no, I was trying to keep it from dropping in her house. She took me upstairs into her bathroom. She cleaned me up. She peroxided me, dude, and she was like, "You gotta hold this tight because it so it stops bleeding," you know. Oh, and, look at her! And dude. like, and she wrapped it with some tape, dude. And I went home and I showed my dad. He never took me to the hospital, dude. I totally needed stitches. Did you need stitches? Dude, it was like... Did you, did you it need bled stitches? through my bandage three oh. or four times. Like, it, it oh, could have wow. used a couple stitches. I didn't go get any. It ended up fine. And, uh... But, yeah, dude. that was That's, like, the worst cut I've ever had. <laughs> wow. That's... Okay. That's pretty bad, but, uh... You, you did not, like... Do you have, like, a scar now? Uh, if if I I bet you I could find it if I looked on my fingertip. I have a scar on the top of my hand that my childhood dog gave me because I was playing with him with his like his little like rope that he you know you know the dogs you know like a, the, the sock with knots in it or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I came really close to his face and it like hit his canine tooth and it it like it's still here. It's probably I don't know maybe like three quarters of an inch long. Right. But but it's a deep it was a deep enough scar. I've had this scar. That dog died when I was eight. Oh wow! And I can still see that so, scar on the top of my hand from when it happened when I was a kid. It has grown with you through <laughs> the ages. Yeah, like when I was little, it was giant. My hands have gotten bigger, obviously, because I'm grown and I'm like strong and virile, you know, like a man. <laughs> like a man. I like how you like a man. <laughs> I have uh, one scar on my finger that. I got when I was probably like 16, 17, and it is from, I was sword fighting, and <laughs> <laughs> shut up. Macho, dude. dude. Got I it. Was, I was a ninja. I know, uh, dude. You got your chainmail <laughs> mace. I was, I was an anime <laughs> I did have a chainmail mace. But, uh, and dude, like, uh, we got a little too close, and like, it sliced a little bit of my middle finger. I did go to the hospital for it. They said I didn't need stitches, but I've had a scar the entire time. Yeah, dude. Yeah, so. When you're kids, you do dumb stuff, man. You really do. <laughs> All right, Jonas, on the next episode, we will see what. Uh, we, got a, we got into a lot of history this episode, dude. Yeah, it was a lot of history, all right. Jonas. That I didn't know so much about you. episode of uh, Cut Ourselves for Fun. Uh, <laughs> not naming it that. <laughs> no, I, I am not naming it that. <laughs> <laughs> Joking. Uh, please make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy our content. Obviously. If you don't, it's cool, dude. We get it. Uh, 
<laughs> I want to get this bird for you. <laughs> <laughs> if you've already done that, he does Twitch, dude. TNT Dynamite. Wait, what is it? Twitch.tv forward slash TNT Dynamite underscore Crazy Town. Go there and yes. find stuff. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. But for Jonas, TNT. Uh, we'll catch you on the next one. We mm. are uh, out. Mm.